I'm on the big screen. I'm excited. <laughs> I'll just give you a, an overview of the build, which I'm sure you probably already know about it because it's a Necromancer off of Diablo 3, but... Yeah, I've actually not played the Necromancer that much. I've, I've dabbled in the uh, the Wizard, of course, but uh, I started a Necro, and I didn't make it too far. I actually gave up on it. Ah, uh, understandable. But uh, this build is um, all revolving around the Trigul set. It's kind of rough until you get up there in levels, but the way that I found to counter that is just play with somebody else and have them host so you have triple the projectiles. It's pretty simple. Because uh, when you play with somebody on uh, Grim Dawn and you have high ping, your projectiles, your procs, and all that, you all get extra of them. I'm assuming that the Tragooslet has some sort of uh, modifier to your spikes yes. there. Is that what it does? Uh, so the spikes that are coming out of the ground right there is that 100% on attack from the Tragool's avatar. Um, it just continually goes off, and that's what procs literally everything mm. Dude, that's that cool. I have as an on hit. Uh, that's real cool. And it's, crit, which procs that. And it's still going, right? Oh yeah, th this will go on as long as I'm in range for these spikes to go off. Huh. Which is about here? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty far. I mean, it's basically the whole screen width. Essentially what happens here is this is uh, all about dealing additional damage with uh, Bone Spear and getting a lot of procs to go off with vitality damage. It's crazy that your DPS is so high as your secondary class wizard doesn't have any resist reductions to vitality damage. It seems like the Trigul set would work well with any secondary class. I use it for a very few select things. The real thing for a wizard here is there's three of them. There's this, and that's for solely for the total speed. Yeah, dude, da damage of absorption is important because it is basically the last thing that's calculated in the defenses. And so after everything is accounted for, then that takes effect. So it can literally reduce like damage over time effects to zero. Um, I just have these on. For a little bit of a CDR, not too much, but the percent spirits where it's really uh, probably level that up some more. But yeah, it can. Like hurt. I said, yeah, like I said, work in progress. Uh, this is another big thing. This procs quite often because I'm using, and I'll show you later, one of my devotions that drains a lot of HP as well as some of my other skills. Um, but all my damage is increased by 200%, plus it's an anti-death. Um, this is extremely useful for this build. It's uh, the first thing I grabbed. Um, a, level 10, it absorbs 50% uh, of the energy from energy spells, yeah. which is really nice to keep your mana all the way up. Sure. As well as minus 20% uh, skill energy cost and the skill disruption pr protection. Yep, and 200 damage absorption on there. That too, uh, as well as the health regen, which is uh, very useful. That's solely for... Uh, the reduced stun freeze and enchantment duration. But that's that's why I run Wizard. What are you using Black Hole for? Uh, Black Hole? That is... That's just to proc that, because it doesn't oh, really go on anything else. How much uh, re resist reduction do you think that you have? I got a fair amount, considering we got Frailty here to start off with. How much and is that? 36? Yep, that's okay. 36. It's a and you skill. had 15 on the ring. Yep, and then you got a flat amount. Uh, 26 reduced resistances. Okay. Is that a... Since your knowledge is a little bit more than mine at this sort of stuff, is that percentage or is it just a flat amount? Yeah, that's just a flat amount. And when it's listed like that, where it's just like a flat number, reduced targets, resistances, it's only going to stack with the other types. So if you have two that are defined like that, they're not going to stack with each other. Uh, I see. If that makes sense. Um, the key to this build is definitely, other than Bone Spear, using Frailty as liberally as you can to reduce all the resistances a lot. It looks like you're about at 77 uh, resist reduction, which is kind of low, but it doesn't seem like you need it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if it works, it works. The highest damage I've dealt in uh, one hit, by the way, was uh, 400k. <laughs> nice. The uh, minus one second skill recharge to leech, so we have a 1.1 second recharge on that. It slows them down a bunch and stuns them, a uh, 15% chance to stun anyways. I also see that it reduces enemy damage, which is important, especially if you're fighting big bosses. Uh, the main thing here is reducing the enemy's health regen. If we have a regenerator, this is uh, a key. Um, and then we have frailty, which reduces their defensive ability by a heavy chunk. Just to go over the buffs that we have up, we got the Bone Armor, 
which gives uh, resistances and avoiding projectiles, as well as uh, casting speed and offensive ability for the Swift Harvesting. Uh, we have uh, Blood is Power, which is a hefty chunk of uh, vitality damage and uh, poison, as well as move speed. It uh, costs health per second, but that's really not a problem. Yeah, I wouldn't think it would be, with all the yeah. attack damage from Bird to Health. We got Energy Armor, which is 200 damage absorption, a bunch of energy, a lot of health regen, which is extremely useful, especially for the Dying God. All of this is very cohesive with this build, as well as the skill energy cost is superb. Teleport. 45 meter range, not much else to be said, and it's an actual teleport. And it can basically, it's not straight. It can go in any direction it wants. Yep. It can twist and turn uh, any which way it wants. Yeah, like we can teleport on top of this bridge here. And then we got our Blood Rite from our offhand. Damage conversion over to Vitality and Chaos. And we got the Void Ward, which is just for extra business. Land of the Dead is extremely useful just for the extra damage. It's 200% extra damage as well as the 100% health regen. And Archon is my oh shit button. Basically, I can't be CC'd. You cannot use Archon while you're stunned. Anyways, uh, just to go through and get all the information for the rest of the gear, uh, we're just gonna go top to bottom here. We got the uh, Mythical Metorius, which gives quite a bit of damage to Bone Spear. You might judge me for this for doubling up on this, because I'm also using the Necromancer Relic. Uh, but that's because the bonuses stack. The plus one to all skills, of course, from a Necromancer Relic. Okay. Uh, as well as the acid damage and crit damage to Bone Spear. Very nice. It also gives a lot of the uh, stated damage, which I could roll better on. I'll just do that later, though. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, this is uh, all for single target, which in a way is also for multi target because it spreads. And then we got uh, Trigul Scale, which gives a bunch to our curses and some to Land of the Dead, which helps us get to our. Uh, 100% increased um, life regen while in Land of the Dead. Are you using any of the modifiers on the, on the bottom there? Uh, I'm using them all. Uh, and then down here we got the aura that has the minus uh, resistances to the enemies for vitality damage, of course. I have uh, two separate legendary rings. I was using uh, Tall Man's Figure for a while. That's for pets though, uh, right? Are, are you using any pets? I'm not using any pets at all on a Necromancer. That's, that's <laughs> awesome, dude, because, like, I'm not a pet build person. Yeah, it's got a uh, blood pool, which was that pool that you seen on the ground up there. This is uh, a mark that reduces their uh, vitality of existence. Also does a decent chunk of vitality damage, which uh, can continually proc along with the 5 set 100% uh, chance on attack. There should be a, another ring, too, that does uh, vitality resistance reduction. I can't remember exactly the name of it though i didn't really see it yeah it's in i think it's in my uh my terror knight build what's your offhand is that part of the trigle set as well uh it's not it's actually a just a original grim dawn item wow increased energy regeneration by 87 that's not bad the main reason i put this on was blood right as well as all the vitality damage stats of course mm-hmm was the acid damage converted to vitality damage and cooldown reduction, which is always nice. Uh, the MVP here being Trigol's Claws, which gives a lot of uh, damage to Bone Spear and conversion. That's uh, what allows our Bone Spear to do such absurd amounts of damage. Yeah, that's really nice. Uh, especially with, uh, how much is it, 1700, 1800%? Uh, 1994% vitality modifier. Then we got the boots, which gives us even more to Blight and Leech. Uh, Blight being the uh, damage over time from Death Nova. Then we got uh, Dainty's Binding for even more to our curses, so we don't have to put too many points under them. And it also gives a fair amount of resistances as well, which is nice. And then we got the Rat Drinker quest, uh, quest which uh, reduces the enemy's total speed on attack uh, and deals Poison Dot to them and reduces their health. Uh, for components, we got uh, the Imbued Silver, which gives Void Ward which gives us our Chaos Resist that we're missing, uh, as well as Bleeding Resist. We got uh, the Purified Salt, kind of the uh, the other half of yeah. the Imbued Silver, which is uh, Aether Resistance, and Max Aether Resistance, and uh, Life Leaf Resistance. We also have Soul Shard here for the uh, just to keep our Energy Pool maxed out, and the Vitality Damage and uh, Resistance and Energy Leech Resistance. Mm -hmm. And I believe... Yes, I have Aether to Vitality damage on uh, the Amulet. 
forget to point out another MVP here. Is uh, it's an aura of uh, seven meters, and it reduces their resistances by a decent chunk. Yeah, what is that tag not found? That's the uh, fourth skill, uh, fourth mastery that was removed uh, by Mamba. I'm assuming you picked up um, a will of Retouche in your devotions. Uh, I'm not too too familiar with devotions, but so far yeah, he's like the furthest south one. Will of yep. Retouche. That's the one right there. So once that gets ma maxed out, I think it's around. 40 or something like that. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty ridiculous. And the percentages do stack, right? Yeah, and I think it's 15 to life leech resistance. So that's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, and and that does stack when it's when it's defined as negative percent, and then you know the damage type. Then that's going to stack with everything, including its own type. But yeah, let's uh, let's get the uh, devotions out of the way. Um, essentially I got that to keep my health up all yep. the time, That's perfect. as well as an abundance of other things. Uh, a lot of these are just spread out uh, to get my resistances up, as well as get to uh, Dying God over there. And Dying God increases your damage by like 400%, right? Yeah, 300% uh, right now. Very nice. How much of a health cost is it for the Undying God? For the Undying God? It's, yeah, uh, it's a heavy there's... chunk. The only downside to using this is if there's no mobs around or if I'm going through an area where there's very little mobs. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've always tried to find a build to include that, but for some reason, like, I want to have the will over Tushwe with it, and it seems impossible to get both. It would seem impossible, especially if you try to balance for resistances too, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, you got the Dying God there. You got Window Goes Mark for even more, uh, okay, give me back my health. Through the health. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of that going on in this Good, build. Yeah, I mean that that's what makes some of the strongest builds because you got to think you're uh, running around with like I don't know how much health, but it's usually between ten and fifteen thousand. Yeah. And, and then you're doing a million damage, and then if only <laughs> like ten percent of that is converted to health, you're gonna stay up, you know, a hundred percent of the time. There's always the possibility of getting one shot, but um, yeah, a lot of these are just spread out for resistances. Nothing too much more. The Dryad, that's always nice yeah. for an instant oh, heal. Yeah. You just buy, uh, bind that to... I got that on oh, Death Nova, so I'll keep healing up with Death Nova right there. That's real nice. That's about it for Devotions. Is your um, armor rating... Is that... It's pretty garbage. Yeah, you should um, definitely increase that armor absorption to at least like 98%. And you can do yeah, that with I'm just fine. like two or three components. Uh, scaled hide is a good one that you can get very early on, and that can be applied to like your chest, shoulders, and pants. Um, and I think that one gives you is it eight percent? Oh, twenty percent. So basically, the way armor rating works is it's multiplicative. So you're at seventy percent armor absorption. To get to a hundred percent, you need forty-two extra. Is what it breaks down to be. It's not additive. So if you just have two of those, that's close enough. That's going to get you to about 98%. The stun, uh, the stun really sucks. I have zero stun resist. Yeah, that's going to be a problem if you're like fighting bosses. That's the problem I had with uh, Tyrael is that he was freezing me apparently. Which boss is that? I don't remember. Tyrael, uh, the Archangel of Justice, uh, Diablo 3 boss. Oh, really? Yeah. In uh, the Shattered Realm? Yeah, I've been playing a lot of that. Your resist wow, 98. Don't... Yeah, see, that's much be better. Wow, um, thanks. That's going to help the build out a lot. Yep. And anytime that you can get physical resistance, you want to put a lot of points into that. Because most of the damage that you're taking is physical. Yeah. 90% of it is just people trying to whack you with, with a stick. Uh, I'm at 42 right now. That's, that's good, actually. That's yeah. real good, because it's hard to find. It really is. That's really good. Your DA seems quite low. Yeah, it's it's quite low, but as you'll see later, I won't have much trouble surviving, especially now that we got the 98%. You could just get your chance to be crit, the zero. I mean, that's that's definitely a goal that you want to reach. I forgot to also mention, um, if I'm fighting, like, uh, for example, a big boss like Mog Drogon, I uh, go ahead and put this on. Is that 5% chance of 1500% damage? It chunks them sometimes, and it's real nice. Where did you get that? 
it is the NCFF blacksmith. Uh, this one here. Fair enough. That's good. That was 40 Nights. I would like to thank him for coming on and sharing this unique build with us. If you have direct questions about his build, he can be found in the Discord, which is linked in the description below. From my perspective, this build lacks stun resistance, defensive ability, and or some OA shred. This is going to be critical for preventing stun locks and one shots. His damage is definitely above and beyond at over 1 million damage per second. I suspect he could shore up his defenses with a different arrangement of constellations and augments though. So. If people respond well to it, this type of format may become more regular on the channel. I've been wanting to start a Grim Dawn podcast for quite a while now. If you'd like to come on and also share, you can contact me directly in the Discord as well. I'm always there to help you guys out, and we have one of the best online communities. Make sure you guys share Grimmarillion and Donna Masteries with a friend, and stay excellent.